What's up guys, this is Ferdinand here and this is a little tutorial on how to uh, make sort of car lighting as I mean like headlights, dipped beams um, I have mentioned this in my previous tutorial which went through the steering but um, <coughs> what you want to do is, I've already done this so you will, you will need to do this um, just go to my car lights so obviously I've got my full beams, my dips, and I've got some interior light and then seat light. And so, just to make it a lot easier, I'll delete the other ones. Um, so uh, let's do the full. Um, let's just start it again, just so you know what to do, just in case you're a bit stuck. So what you want to do is you want to get your car, and once you've got that, you want to add a light. Um, you want to change the type to a spot. And then you want to turn it face. Uh, just turn it off, by the way, um, just so we can see what we're doing. Just so want to turn it um, to wherever your car is facing. And then what you want to do is you just want to put it into position. Uh, it's too confusing that way. So we'll just go to this one now. We need to just lift it. Now I would use, as you can see in the car, I'll use the big one for the dipped headlights and I'll use um uh, and just use the end one for the full beams. Just you know, just make it a lot easier for you guys. Um doesn't really matter which one you use, but I I just do that for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. So once you've got that sort of relatively positioned in the same area where your light is on the car, you can see now the light will be shining from this light facing forward. So what you want to do as well, you want to copy and paste that and go on to the other side. And there you go, there are your, these will be our dipped headlights. But first of all, what we'll do is we'll just leave that as it is. Um, and we want to copy and paste them again. But this time, we want to put them to the next light. So, there. Maybe bring them back just a little bit more as well. And then copy and paste that one. And bring it over to the other side. So now we should have four lights. Let's get this one into position. Sorry about the actual. Um, what I'll do is. No, I will not do it. I'll just leave it. It's running a little bit slow because one, I'm rendering, and two, it's quite a big file um, due to the size and the high poly model. So we have got four lights. We want to switch off the end two because our full beam headlights um, should just be straight, straight as it is now. Um, you barely need to touch them. So if we hide that one and hide that one, we've got our dipped headlights, but we need to dip them. So if you just want to select both of them, rotate tool and just slightly dip them, and then unhide the other ones. You can clearly see which ones are the dipped and the full beams. So, what we should do, what you want to do now is um, switch all lights on. And as you can see, we want to change the lights from a, should switch them off, from a dipped to full beam. So, if we turn on our dipped ones, which are these two. We will change it about 40 frames. So, we go to 40 frames, we hit on the old auto keyframe button, and we want to select both of our dipped headlights, and we want to turn the intensity to just 100, so just grab it and put it back to 100. A keyframe should be set. You might want to just delete the first keyframe as well, that always buggers you up. Uh, well, it buggers me up, so. <laughs> you can do what you want, but if it, you know, I'll, I would do it just in case. And then we'll go one frame forward and we'll turn the intensity down. 
Um, the same thing with the what do you call it? Ah, oh, shit. Um, full beams. You turn them on. But as you can see, at 40 frames, the dipped headlights are on. 41, they're off. So if we go to 40 and select our full beams, we want to set that to naught or zero, and then because that obviously the dipped headlights are still on. So when you move frame forward, there are no lights on because the, the dipped headlights have been shut off. So we need to switch the full beams on. So then we'll just drag this up to 100 because obviously the full, full beam lights are now on. Now you could just leave it like that, or if you want to give it, give it just a little bit more effect, um, come off the. No, no, actually, we'll, we will need that. Um, where your light switch is on, you can choose to turn up the intensity just a bit more, just to make it a little bit brighter. Um, so, as, as you will see now, we'll have our dipped headlights on, and then they will change to full beams. So, it's not hard, and then we'll switch it back. All you've got to do is just turn one off and switch the other back on exactly the same time. So, say 65 frames, we'll turn the auto keyframe button on. We've got our full beam selected. Keep it at 140, just type that in again, click. Um, uh, where is it? These ones. Um, and then just move one frame forward, select that to naught, and then come back a frame select our dipped headlights make the keyframe at naught again move one frame forward where the lights have been switched off and change the dipped headlights back up to 100 so what you can see now is we've gone from dipped to full beam to dipped so that's sort of how to change um, different lighting unless you want it to be really really picky and just use one light. Um, if I just remove all the keyframes, this is another way of doing it, but I don't do it just just to save hassle. Um, what you can do is you can keyframe, and then go one frame forward, rotate them both up, and keyframe again. So that will again change it from full beam to. Uh, or dipped to full beam or full beam to dip but I don't like doing this just because I, I just like having the extra light because you know I just, just don't like that just, that's just me <laughs> just can't do that um, and again if you want to change the intensity you need the keyframe button on go to the first frame keep that at 100 and then move forward and then the full beams will obviously be a bit more so 140 and then there you go. Dipped headlights at 100. Move forward to a full beam at 140. So that's another way of doing it, but it is entirely up to you. Now this way will be, it, I've got to admit, is it is a lot easier. But I just prefer to have the extra lights on. Um, just my personal opinion, but you don't have to. So that is how you change sort of uh, lights on a a car, just in case you want to animate something. Um, with a car involved in it. So yeah, please like and comment. If you want to see any more tutorials around a car, I don't know what exactly, like how to do the windows down, or I might just do a separate tutorial just for animating bits of the car. So uh, I'll, I'll leave that up to you, your decision. Um, so please like and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.